Hello everyone, welcome back to Civilization 5. I almost said Crusader Kings there. Uh, Civilization 5 as the free folk. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm sounding quite enthusiastic, I guess, as I always try to do when I start a video, but I'm actually rather frustrated because I just recorded two episodes. And um, yeah, if you've probably noticed, we're in turn 200. So we've left off last time in turn, I think like 180. And we're now in turn 200 because what happened was I recorded two uh, episodes 50 minutes worth of footage and um, basically what happened I had the wrong resolution I don't know why this happened to me in one of my CK2 series as well and that basically makes the video unwatchable and it's worse in, in uh, Civ 5 than it was in, in CK2 so basically you could only see I think this this part of the video and the rest was cut off and um, that yeah that, that annoys me so I decided I'm not gonna show you this in fact uh, I'm just gonna give you a summary yet, and uh, well, as you can see, we've taken over Carhold and Castle Servine, and we've actually managed to, um, well, find Winterfell, so we now have uh, Buren Thoam at the gates of Winterfell. Just want to quickly give you a rundown of what's happened. I apologize once again that this happened. Uh, I didn't mean to do this, um, but, you know, I guess it's just gonna have to do... Uh, the best of it. So, um, I mean, Carhold, let's start with, with Carl because that's probably the less, less interesting thing. <laughs> I don't know why I start with it then. But anyways, just to finish this off, um, Carl was al almost or already reeling when we uh, left in the last episode. Basically, we had, I think, three giants in total surrounding it. We have two crossbowmen, Man's Raider personally leading the attack. And obviously, Carl was under a blockade uh, for a very long time. Our fleet had been locating, uh, locating Kyle for a long time and basically cut it off from the rest of the north and they did try in the beginning to reinforce it a little bit but you know we, we completely destroyed any unit that came so it was only the Kyle Stark Garrison defending um, and uh, with all of these giants battering at their doors they eventually let us in and we were able to take over the castle. Um, so uh, that's one thing, so that was done. And then I guess the more interesting battle was uh, Castle Servine, but it wasn't also, you know, or it wasn't, you know, as, as impressive as, as the battles for, for First Hearth or Castle Black or Eastwatch. It was going relatively easy. We had, uh, we brought all of our troops in position relatively easily. They had two Krennic men defending Castle Servine. Then they had a couple of uh, loyal bannermen and uh, regular bannermen coming. But as you can see, we now have Mammoth in, uh, well, in our ranks and uh, I just want to quickly go over a couple of things first of all um during the Siege of Castle Sermon, we lost three units. We lost uh, one crossbowman that wasn't named, so that's not too bad. We lost Mag the Mighty that was leading the assault of Castle Servine. And we also lost one of our first mammoth, actually the first mammoth we had, Banjikut Justman, which is um, too bad. Yeah, he, he actually made an appearance, but then he also quickly died uh, because he was kind of the first one to attack. But the problem was that he was standing where uh, the Lord of Bones is right now, and two loyal bannermen were attacking, and Kranachman was shooting as well as the city, so he just got destroyed. And that was while we were still setting up. So we had our two rams brought in, we had uh, two crossbowmen over here, one of them, as I said, was destroyed together with Mag the Mighty, and Lucas Mallory was the other one. And then we had, obviously, a couple of... Uh, Giants, we had uh, Korosh and Bjorn Thoram coming down from the Shadow Tower, and uh, then we had, I think, yeah, as I said, two crossbowmen and Robert Rain, who is now also riding a mammoth. And uh, so that they basically did the job. Eventually, it was Darwin Riker who took over Castle Servant, who stormed the gates, and uh, yeah, well, as I said, took it over in our name. And um, that was quick, uh, pretty quickly. The North uh, decided to peace out with the Vale because we were pressing them so hard, I guess. Uh, we had some Glovers coming, um, and they wanted to cross this lake and take us in the rear, but Lucas Mallory quickly shot them and with one strike killed them all while they were embarked in, in the sea or in this in this lake. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Um, the North actually, as I said, they peaced out and for good reason, because if we have a look at the uh, world rankings in military manpower, the North is not doing too well. They have half the forces, well, not 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 entirely, but close to half the forces, definitely significantly less than we have. The only army that is uh, greater than the uh, Free Folk army is currently the army of the Westerlands. We've met Tywin uh, after he sent his ships, the uh, Western Longships, 
into the mild sea. And as you can see, we currently have our own ships ready to uh, enter the battle straight in the Bay of Wolves again in order to start the blockade of what I believe is White Harbor. And uh, also we have one great captain, but uh, I haven't really bothered renaming him because I'm mostly going to use this great captain. Uh, we can't see that right now, but there's an option, one ability, to repair the fleet. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to use the great captain to attack, and once all of our ships are a little bit wounded, we're just going to use him to heal the fleet. Yeah, other than that, I think I've pretty much covered everything. As I said, we have a couple new players. We have the Bastard Born, uh, which is a group of bastards led by the Big Bastard, a man who has not revealed his true name. And he's fighting for us after he was a pirate. Uh, in, in Lee's. He was basically sent to the wall for being a bastard, basically. Um, and uh, while his ship was traveling north, they were uh, he was able to uh, escape, and he escaped to Lee's. Uh, he became a pirate and then decided to join Mad's Raider in order to take vengeance on his uh, former family. We don't know which family that is, but uh, we will probably figure out soon enough uh, once we once we know which castle he tears down. Uh, also, obviously, uh, as I said, Robert Rain became a mammoth leader. We have the Load of Bones. Um, I'm not sure if we have anyone else new. Uh, Benjica Justman. The last surviving member of House Justman has died, um, which is unfortunate. They have lived a long life beyond the wall. Um, they are the they continued the Justman line um, from King Banner's second son, Theomar who was sent to the wall for insulting one of the river lords and uh, he was so angered by this I guess punishment that he did not come to the aid of his brother during the Ironborn invasion and then he just decided to flee the wall uh, and uh, he lived alive at a free folk ever since and his generation as I said was passed down eventually Benjica Justman became right of a mammoth um, after taming it and he saw it as a sign of the old gods and uh, well, he, he thought he was meant to rule, but unfortunately he died when attacking Castle Servine. But yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much everything. I think that covers it all. Um, any new things that I come across, I will probably talk about on the go. But for now, I think we should just move on to the next turn. We also have one more... Sp oh, actually, well, we have three spies right now. One, one more that I haven't actually named yet. So if you... I uh, want to come up with a spy name. I would uh, appreciate that. The North is... Oh, look at this. Renly has... Okay, first of all, we've met Lady Ol Olena. That's very nice. You can see if we can trade something. We have salt and cider to trade with you. But you have nothing to trade in return. Now, uh, we should probably be trading with the Westerlands because Tywin has so many goods. But th there was nothing he wanted from us. So, we'll see. Olena has declared war on Doran. Okay, and Renly has completed Storm's End. Well, that makes a lot of sense. There goes Bjorn Thoram. Actually, I'm hoping he's not going to die. Yeah, he, he won't. But uh, the North still has troops. I mean, uh, you know, they've been beaten, but they're not completely obliterated yet. They still have, they're still, you know, strong. Ivory from Renly. Okay, we still have some happiness. Also, I should probably mention, I fixed our economy. I've been building a lot of buildings that, uh, you know, produce gold. And also, I have been doing a lot of uh, deals with uh, these other lords. But let's actually check out Tywin first. And let's see what he has. He has so many things, uh, but he doesn't want any of our things. Perfumes, oil, uh, olives, truffles. So many things we want. <sighs> oh, well. Uh, let's actually talk to Elena. Let's see if she now has something we could use. She has one of each. I wonder if she would trade us for like, I don't know, uh, perfume and uh, sugar. No, she wouldn't do that. Yeah, that was to be expected. Uh, let's trade with Renly then. We know we can at least get some ivory. Oh, whales and cider. Okay, let's give him, let's take the citrus. There we go. Okay. Anything else we need? We've definitely gotten our happiness up. Let's talk to Doran. Let's see what he says. We're also still trading with um, with Peter, but only because I need the money. That's the only reason we're trading with him. Okay, let's say goodbye. Balon, what about you? Okay, you actually would give us some money for salt. Let's do that, because we can use the money. 
He wouldn't. Oh. Hmm. I'm sure if I'm interested then. I don't want to give you open borders. Stannis, perhaps you want to assault? Yeah, come on. Seven gold per turn. How about that? No. Five gold. What? What's going on? Not too sure, actually. All right, we'll stop that then. It's fine. Also, uh, one thing I should probably mention, we have established a trade route between Carhold and Bravas. Now, Bravas still doesn't like us, but we have sent... I think Oral, no, Recruit, yeah, Lancel. Mm. Need to, as I said, re rename that spy, but we've sent one of our spies to Bravas to improve relations. Uh, a white walk encampment has been discovered. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, we have faith to buy something. We should probably buy another Godswood. We have one in First Hearth. We should probably get one in Castle Servine. Uh, by the way, I have, uh, as you can see, already converted this province with our great profit. Okay, mm. Mm. Can't buy them here. How about Greenland? Do you have a Godswood? Yes, yeah, you have. Or you do. Okay, how about uh, Eastwatch? There you go. Awesome. So we're slowly converting all of our provinces. Anything else? Olena declared this war. Renly, as I said, completed Storm's End, which I'm very happy about. And we can build... We finished the blacksmith in Hardhome. So let's build... What are we going to build? Um, probably... Probably gonna build some more... Hmm... Probably another giant. Yeah. And then, we have Wun Wun here. You're gonna have to heal up for a turn. We have this giant. Send you forward soon enough. Mona White Mask. Actually, that was stupid. I wonder if we can still shoot her. Uh, okay. If we go here, we cannot shoot. Ah, that's fine. Actually, this was not a good idea. Oh, we're gonna lose Gorn. Unless... Alright, we're gonna have to put uh, Wun Wun in front. I just don't wanna lose Gorn. There's White Harbor. I didn't actually wanna move here. Look at all these... These Krennic men. Krennic men are the only ones left to defend... The north, it seems like. Uh, we can pillage. I think we have to. And move over here. Perhaps we can attack the city. We cannot. Simon Malister, are you in range? No. So we'll uh, just have you fortify. And we should probably send our spies to the north. Hmm. Korosh sends you forward. Darwin Riker, you are also healed up. There is Torment Giant's Bane. Man's Raider, you'll probably go in here. That's fine. And then we have the Bastard Born. Go forward. Redbeard's still holding this castle right there. And Gerald Torment will send you forward as well. Good. Okay, now, Fleet, as I said, we're preparing an invasion of White Harbor. Now that we know that it is truly tr White Harbor. Uh, okay, I guess that's the only place you can go. Awesome. And you... Oh, shit, now I could, could have moved you over there. Alright, so here's some northern walkers. Interesting. I don't know what the north is trying to do over in the Dreadford. You're no longer at war. I guess we're gonna find out. Another caravan. Uh, let's see if we can send some production. Probably, like... Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about sending some food to the Shadow Tower. Although... You know what? No, what we're gonna do, we're probably gonna get rid of this caravan. Yeah. We're gonna get some money for it. We're rather gonna go for cargo ships now. I think caravans are too old. We can't really use them anymore. You have built up the cider. Good. Um, let's go here. Lucas Mallory will make you fortify. And you've built the road, I think. Yep. Okay. Well, you can go and build up this sheep then. And we're ready for the next turn. Okay, let's move on. So yeah, our entire... Look at the huge army we have. We're going to obviously have to send over our rams. And I don't know... I think we're probably going to go for White Harbor first. Um, or maybe we'll probably have so many units we can attack both... 
uh, cities at the same time. Accept them embassy. Yes, we will do that. I want to know where High Garden is. Uh, there it is. Pretty nice. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're, we're probably going to be able to attack both cities at the same time. We're going to have to obviously be careful about Deep Whip Mart, the Glovers, but don't think they're going to be that big of a problem. Ooh. Okay, yeah. Korash will probably be able to defend. Okay, a lot of people attacking him. <laughs> but we ha definitely had to protect Gorn. He's doing such a better job. To send it back now. What? Oh! That I did not expect. Wow, we lost a giant. Okay. Well, I guess... Yeah, so many people. I basically just wanted to save Gorn after I've sent him forward too far. We have connected Castle Servant. Okay, wow. Bjorn, um... Well, I can pillage. But that means I could not move away. Move here. And we'll give you... Cover. All right, so we lost Korosh. No, actually, we didn't. Who did we? Def who did we lose then? Um. Oh, it was Wun Wun. I think we lost Wun Wun. Yeah, I think so. Okay, we lost Wun Wun. Korosh is still alive. All right. Well. Okay, now we're gonna have to shoot. Mourn our white mask. Gonna have to send these guys back. Send our wildling giant up here. And yeah, Darwin Riker. Need to be sent forward. And Korash will send you in here. Yeah, you cannot get attacked. Okay, good, yeah. We're gonna have to protect our archers a little bit. Okay, so you make your stand here. If there's no loyal bannerman, you should be fine. I'll keep you there for now. Alright. And our rams can make their way f forward. Bronx Fury. The Phoenix. And the Bastard Born. Probably get you up here. A new production for Castle Black. Castle Black. An observatory. Yeah, we don't really need that. We're actually on banking now. Uh, researching banking right now, which is the last technology uh, before men mentoring. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, probably we'll be building another, another mammoth, yeah. Choose some more production. Hot bale. Yeah, you will be building a cargo ship. And we've built another bannerman. Good. Send him south. We've basically all of our troops south, but that's fine. Um, I also decided that I'm going to be building farms all around Carhold, and the rest will be building uh, um, lumber mills, most likely. Yeah. So we're going to be probably building a farm here. Yeah. This is all grasslands. So it's very good for farms. Okay. I well, basically decided to, to to build farms there for simple the simple reason that um, these uh, what was I gonna say these farms uh, have access to fresh water next to that river. But yeah, um, send uh, forward our fleet. I think the icebreaker will go first. There's a reach longship. Then we'll have the sunburst and the iceberg. Trailing behind a little bit. Davos, yeah. Pike's thrust. You could actually attack, but there's no point. Actually, oh, look at that. Plunder, yes. Plunder this trade route. That's what I wanted. Okay, I guess you can move up here. And there is Gerald Torment. Send him forward as well. You can start building a lumber mill. And you have built the road as well. I guess we're going to send you up here to fix this tile. You fix the tile, yep. Yeah. You could go here. 
you have built the road. Also, we've actually tear, um, torn down this fortress here in order to build a, uh, a mine, but it wasn't actually all that useful, so I'm not going to do that with the others. We've also built another bannerman in Castle Black, so send him forward. Yep. And there's Mount Raider. We'll keep you here for now. Anything else? You have finished building as well. Probably going to go here. And that will be the next turn. Great! So yeah, we have a huge army. Uh, and it's, as I said, we're going to march on White Harbor and uh, Winterfell now. Then we have Deepwood Mart left. And I don't know how many more northern cities there are. There are probably some, but it's not going to be too many. Also, I probably uh, want to build a settler at some point just so we can settle Skagos. Since uh, we, we planned on doing that a long time ago, but we've never actually done it. Um, in the beginning because we couldn't, and now simply because I didn't really have the need to. But uh, yeah, also, man, uh, we have tons of gold. We should probably be doing something with that. Um, we have a new crossbowman, Mona. Uh, we're going to give you probably just accuracy. Sure. That's going to do some real damage. Nice. Yeah, I like that. And another giant. We have a new giant. Okay, so that's good. He's going to be replacing Woon Woon. Let's have a quick look at the possible giant candidates that we have left. Um, let me see... Okay, so the next one, that would be Dugma. There we are. So Dugma, she is part of an old, uh, old old clan of giants that despises war. Now, she became friends with Korosh after he rescued her from a whale that attacked her while she was fishing. Now, um, after Korosh left to join Man's Raider in order to avenge his parents, the rest of the clan called him a traitor because, as I said, this clan is... Uh, you know, it despises war. Now, um, knowing that uh, Dagma was friends with Korosh, they demanded her to tell them where he went. Now, unwilling to betray her friend, she was exiled from the clan and chased off with, uh, with arrows. And um, eventually, she was very desperate to escape her former clan members and jumped into the sea and passed out due to her wounds that she suffered but while being chased. And uh, she was later then rescued by Korosh, who convinced her to uh, join the Free Folk. And this was basically the second time she was rescued by Korosh uh, from the sea. And uh, yeah, we're going to make Dagma a fighter in rough terrain. I think that would be best. And send her forward to the front line as quickly as possible through the uh, Castle Black. Oral has uncovered a plot that I don't really care too much about. Now, we could be building several things here, but I think most important would be some more Bannerman. There we go. And uh, you have finished. Okay, so where do we want to build the road to car hold? I'm thinking here. Move here, build another thing. You And you go here and build the road. Yep. A bannerman moving forward. That's fine. Send you here. Stay on the road. Okay, Robert Rain has healed. We're going to make you cross the river. And then the Phoenix is coming. Okay, so we're going to have to think about where do we want to go first. Bjorn, you're going to have to go here and heal up. And our uh, rams need to go forward. Good. Then... Um, probably gonna send this giant well let's see we can send a load of bones here yep although I don't know we'll send Darwin Riker here you are healing up okay Gorn I will need to send you here you can shoot shoot these these bannermen Yep. Then we have the load of bones to take care of these Krennic men. Yep, that will be fine. This giant, you can go here. Probably gonna send Man's Raider forward. And Korosh, 
deal with these guys and then maybe Darwin Riker. Oh, actually, that was stupid. I should have probably attacked with Darwin because then we're going to have a, la uh, well, a hole in our defenses. Or maybe not if they don't win. Okay, and Torment, I will send you probably forward here. And the Bastard Born don't really have anywhere to go other than here. Okay, crossing the river. All right, so we're advancing slowly but surely. Uh, we have one more giant that I'm going to move forward. We have actually tons of people that I'm going to be moving forward. Yep, this guy as well. But yeah, guys, I'm going to have to end this episode here. We are getting ready, as I said, for Assault on White Harbor and Winterfell. We're not going to worry about Deep Woodmart too much right now. We have the Red Beards kind of guarding this path. Should we ever... Actually, one thing I should probably be doing. Yeah, let, let me see if we can buy these tiles. Because if I can buy this tile, I think we will be able to plant down a fortress here. Let me see. Yes, construct the citadel. Awesome. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So we have the citadel here, which basically guards um, this flank, and we have the red beards holding them. Good. We'll, we'll keep it like that, and then we can advance south as we do. Uh, Dreadford is not an issue right now, but we're probably going to be attacking them soon enough. Um, but yeah, that will be for next turn. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.